what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find x for which the square root of x plus 2 root x is equal to 1. well our first step would be for us to get rid of this square root and we do that by taking the square of both sides so on the left hand side i have the square root of x plus 2 root x and on the right hand side i have 1. so now let's take the square of both sides so take the square of both sides and notice that this square cancels out the square root leaving behind x plus 2 root x equal to 1 squared is 1. Now our next step will be for us to move x to the right hand side so that we isolate 2 root x. In order to do that we subtract x from both sides so subtract x from both sides we have on the left x minus x will be gone leaving behind 2 root x on the left hand side to be equal to on the right i have 1 minus x so 1 minus x very good now our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root and we do that by taking the square of both sides very good now taking the square of both sides on the left this is 2 squared 2 squared gives 4 and then the square root of x squared the square cancels out the square root so we have x remaining so 4 times x very good equal to on the right i have 1 squared so 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times x so 2 times 1 times x and then plus x squared so x squared very good so this becomes 4x equal to 1 squared is 1 minus 2 times 1 times x is 2x and then plus x squared very good now our next step will be for us to move 4x to the right hand side and in order to do that we subtract 4x from both sides very good so now subtracting 4x from both sides on the left 4x minus 4x will be gone because it is zero this is equal to on the right i have one minus 2x minus 4x is minus 6x and then plus x squared very good very good well let's rearrange this expression i'm going to be flipping the positions you know writing this on the left and writing the zero on the right so i'll say or now writing on the left let me start with the x squared so this is x squared followed by negative 6x so negative 6x and then plus 1 equal to 0 very good so we have a quadratic equation a quadratic equation in which the coefficient of x squared is 1 and the coefficient of x is an even number i'm going to be using the method of completing the square and how do i do that i'm going to be moving one to the right hand side so that we have x squared minus 6x on the left to be equal to as one crosses to the right it becomes minus one now our next step will be to take the coefficient of x which is negative 6 so take negative 6 divide it by 2 and then square this will result to negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 
squared. So what I'm going to be doing with this will be to add this to both sides of the equation. So this is x squared minus 6x. Now add this plus negative 3 squared. This is equal to, on the right hand side, I have negative 1. I'm going to add this plus negative 3 squared. Very good. Now notice that on the left hand side, we have a perfect square. A perfect square of x minus 3. Minus 3. Very good. So this is a perfect square of x minus 3. This is equal to, on the right, I have negative 1 plus negative 3 squared is 9. Very good. So this becomes x minus 3 all squared equal to negative 1 plus 9 is 8. Very good. Now, in order to get rid of this square, I'm going to be taking the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of x minus 3 all squared. I'll also take the square root of 8. So in order to take the square root of 8, I'm going to be putting plus or minus. Good. Then the square root of 8. Now notice that on the left hand side, the square root cancels out square, leaving behind x minus 3 to be equal to, on the right, this is plus or minus, and then the square root of 8 is same as 4 times 2. So these are factors of 8 in which one of the factors is the perfect square. Now let's separate this. So we have x minus 3 to be equal to plus or minus. Separating, we have the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. So this becomes x minus 3 equal to plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2. So 2 times the square root of 2 gives 2 root 2. Very good. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to move negative 3 to the right-hand side so that it becomes x equal to, as negative 3 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 3. And then plus or minus 2 root 2. So there are actually two values of x here. The first value will be 3, go with the positive, plus 2 root 2. And then the second value is 3 minus 2 root 2. Very good. Well, let's check. So we're going to be checking to see which of these are answers is correct. So recall that the given question is the square root of x plus 2 root x equal to 1. Now let's test for our first answer. So we say when x, we're testing for the first x, which is 3 plus 2 root 2. So this will be on the left hand side. This is x. So I'm going to be putting this value 3 plus 2 root 2 and then plus 2 root x. So plus 2 root x. What is x? 3 plus 2 root 2. So we want to test if we're going to be getting 1. Now let's simplify what we have here by making it a perfect square in order to get rid of this square root. So we have the square root of 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 times the square root of... Now, I'm going to be writing this as 3 is same as 2 plus 1. So that's 3. And then plus 2 root 2. Very good. So this is simplified into the square root of 
the square root of this is 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 now times the square root of 2 is same as the square root of 2 or squared very good so the square root of 2 all squared gives back 2 plus 1 squared gives 1 and then plus 2 root 2 2 root 2 times 1 is same as 2 root 2 very good very good so I'm writing this in terms of a perfect square there is an expression of when we have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab this expression is an expression in perfect squared and it is equal to a plus b all squared now let's compare this expression to what we have here you notice on comparing you see that a is same as the square root of 2 and you see that b is same as 1 you see that very good so a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b so let's write this now in this form so this becomes the square root of 3 plus 2 root 2 and then plus 2 times the square root of now writing this as this so we have so this becomes the square root of 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 times the square root of so 2 times the square root of writing this like this we have the square root of 2 plus 1 very good squared very good now notice that this square root cancels out the square so that we have the square root of 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 times this expression which is the square root of 2 plus 1 now let's open up the brackets so this will be 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2 and then plus 2 times 1 is 1. Remember, we are seeing if this will result to 1. If this will result to 1, that's what we are testing for. If this will result to 1. Very good. So now let's add up like terms. So this is the square root of 3 plus 1 is 4. And then 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 4 root 2 very good very good and if you see this this expression is actually bigger than 1 so no need to continue further so our x which is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 is not a solution now let's test for when the value of x which is the second value of x is 3 minus 2 root 2. Remember the given question? It is the square root of x plus 2 root 2 equal to 1. So let's just focus on the left hand side. So this will be the left hand side is the square root of x. And what is our x? It is 3 minus 2 root 2 and then plus 2 times the square root of x sorry for that this is x so the square root of x and what is x x is 3 minus 2 root 2 very good now we're going to be simplifying what we have here because we're interested in making this a perfect square so this will be the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3 is same as 2 plus 1 and then minus 2 root 2 now simplifying further we have this to be 
3 minus 2, 2 plus 2 times the square root of 2 can be written as the square root of 2 squared plus 1 is same as 1 squared. Very good. And then minus 2 root 2 times 1. 2 root 2 times 1 gives back 2 root 2. Very good. So this expression resembles this property a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. This is a perfect squared which is written as a minus b all squared. So and by comparing you see that our a here is same as the square root of 2 and our b here is same as 1. And now writing what we have here in this form, this means what we have here is the square root of 2 minus 1 all squared. Very good. So we're going to be writing this in place of everything here. So this will be the square root of, this is 3 minus 2 root 2 plus 2, so plus 2 times the square root of, Instead of writing this, I'll be writing the square root of 2 minus 1 all squared. Very good. Now notice that the square root cancels out the square so that we have the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 and then plus 2 times what we have here is the square root of 2 minus 1. Very good. Now let's open up the bracket. We have the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 plus 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2 minus 2 times 1 is 2. Now notice that this result to 3 minus 2 is 1. And then negative 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is gone because it gives you zero. Now we have the square root of one. So the square root of one is equal to one, which is equal to the right hand side. So the only correct value for x is three minus two root two. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.